lordy, lordy, lordy. I had to brush my face and lotion my hands so I could come out here to talk to my cousins because it's been too long. And I ain't want to get on here with the nappy cheeks and the ash all in my knuckle spaces. I didn't want to do that and embarrass y'all on the interwebs. I didn't want to do that because it's been too long. Oh, it's been too long. And I'm so glad y'all was praying for me because I really was sick, y'all. I was sick as a dog. And I thought it was something else. It was a very terrible sinus infection. I feel like I could have prevented it if I would have pushed my kids away because I know my daughter bought that thing from school. I know she bought that in here from that hell house down here where they don't bleach good at. We bleach good up here. They don't bleach good down there. Huh? They don't bleach down there like we bleach up here. And I could have avoided it and pushed them kids away. But I, my kids are dramatic. And I feel like 20 years from now, they'd be like, you know what, one time, daddy. When I was sick, daddy pushed me away and I've never healed from that. <laughs> They're dramatic. I don't know where they get that from. Maybe they mama's side. Because it ain't my side. I'm not dramatic. I'm just not. <sighs> I'm not dramatic. Anyway, how y'all doing? Huh? Hmm? Y'all doing all right? I'm as all right as I can be. I'm still in a, I'm still healing in a little healing phase. I'm still in, you know, removal. If you get what I'm saying, <clears throat> you can still hear it in my voice and hopefully I can get through this video without uh -huh, damn, my voice going like that because that's just what's been happening. But I thank God for healing. Huh? If you are new to the channel and you have subscribed, welcome to the family. If you're not so new, hey, cousin, how you doing? You get your taxes. I love you. Call me. <laughs> I need a few things. If you're going to look out for me, how I look out for you, what's up? You know, I love you. Hit me up. Let me know <laughs> what I could get. You know, what's my limit? You got food stamps. All right. What did I want to come in here and talk to y'all about? I done lost my train of thought now. I'm being silly, but I'm so glad to be able to be silly. Thank God, because when, y'all, when I tell you I was just down in the dumps, and I'm getting all these messages and opportunities, and I got to turn them down, and that just depressed me, and I'm just sad. I just wanted to delete everything and just take a year off and just focus on me. That's how, that's how crazy this infection was, and you know what? I had to research, and sometimes, you know, infections can, in, uh, not sometimes, a lot of times, they can affect your brain. And you're thinking and stuff like that. That's why you got to keep on blowing your nose and get that stuff up out of here. Sit in there too long. Some dangerous things can happen. I had to pray that thing up out of me. I don't even eat spicy food, but I had to make me some broth and put some, some hot sauce in it. I'm just sitting there sweating and snotting. So, hey, TMI, but I'm feeling mighty fine right now. Hallelujah. And I just wanted to encourage y'all. I ain't come on here to preach, but I want to encourage y'all that sometimes you might be actually sick. You might be actually sad. You might feel like nothing is ever going to be better again. But y'all, let me tell you, that's just a trick <laughs> from hell. I'm just going to tell the truth. That's a trick from hell to make you give up, to make you stop chasing your dream, to make you stop believing that things can turn around. Listen, all them opportunities I missed out on, we're going to talk about it, y'all. Y'all know I tell y'all all my business anyway. One opportunity, I'll tell y'all this real quick. One opportunity, I was supposed to sing background for somebody. I got an email from one of the other singers that said, thank God you wasn't there. I know you would have helped us, but man, somebody rushed the stage and they swung on all of us. Like three people rushed the stage, swung on all of us. They threw the lead singer off stage. And I mean, oh no, I'm from the hood. I'm picking something up. You ain't coming at me. But I'm not rejoicing in the fact that that happened. I wasn't there. I'm just, you know, y'all know what I'm trying to say. But I, hey, I didn't need to be there. And it wasn't, be, it was only because, and you know what? Sometimes you do too much. Your body will sit you down. You're doing too much, but not enough at the same time. You're doing for everybody else and not enough for yourself. You got to take care of yourself, drink some water, get them vitamins, get that vitamin reg regimen back up and going. Whew. Okay, I said a lot. I got to take a deep breath now. But I wanted to encourage y'all, things get better. And when I was sick, the last day that I really was like just in bed all day, it was bad. And this song just, it just wouldn't leave my mind. So I want to encourage y'all with this. There will be mountains that I will have to climb. And there will be battles that I will have to fight, but victory or defeat, 
It's up to me to decide. Tell me how can I expect to win if I never try, try. I just can't give up now. I've come too far from where I started from. Oh, nobody told me the road would be easy. But I don't believe he's brought me this far to leave me. And I don't believe he's brought you this far to leave you. No. Y'all, things are going to get better. I'm telling you, don't you let nobody tell you different. They're going to get better. And better. I don't care who's talking about you. They're just going to keep getting better. I don't care who walk out on you. Things just gonna get better. Don't let nobody lie to you. They gonna get better.